Well, we sure had a lot of fun today in Lamb's Meadow. Who watches over the lambs in the meadow? That's right, Timothy and Katie Colley. Some farmers have dogs who help with the animals and are very nice to them. In our story, her name was Katie Colley. Well, we're going to learn about um, Jesus today. Do you know who Jesus is? Well, when Jesus was on the earth, not a lot of people knew who he was. So to explain that, he used a little story. But this story was about a sheep and his shepherd. Now we know every story that happened in the Bible really happened. And this story that Jesus told really happened. We know that this is from the Bible and everything in the Bible really happened. So do you know what a shepherd is? A shepherd is someone who watches over their sheep and takes care of them. A shepherd also names every single one of his sheep and takes care of every single one, not just one, but all of them. They also wouldn't follow anyone else's direction other than that one shepherd. The shepherd would leave the sh sheep to green grass, so he'd take his little sheep, and his little sheep would go and follow, and they would go eat sheep. Yum, 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 yum. Look, he's eating his little, his little grass. Yum, 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 yum. And then once they were all done eating, they would take a little nap in the nice wide pastures. And this, we only have one little sheep, but they would have lots and lots of sheep. Sometimes they would have a hundred sheep. After that, they had rested at the meadow and made sure nobody would hurt them because the shepherd would make sure that no one was hurting the sheep when they were laying down. He would then also take them to good, clean water. So they would walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and walk, and they would find some good, clean water. So here's our water here. You see that water? They would take these sheep, and the sheep would drink, and they would go, yup, 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 yup. and then they, again, take another nap because that's what sheep do. They sheep. They, they sleep and eat. So the sheep would then take another nap after going to the nice, cool water to drink. After a long day in the pastures and taking naps and walking around and eating, he would then take them back to their, their little pens. And so this is our little pen that we made today. And we're gonna, right, we're gonna just lead our sheep right into the middle. And once the sheep would go inside, the shepherd would count each one to make sure not one got lost. So every time one would go in, he would count one, two, three, four, and so on. And he would keep counting. We only have one little sheep today, so we only have to count to one. Then he would make sure that once they're in the pen, he would make sure that they couldn't get away. And they would sleep with them in the pasture and make sure that they weren't hurt. Now, this is pictures of what it might have looked like back then. This is the big, nice little pen that they were in. Instead of wood, it could have been um, a little harder. And then here's the pasture. See all the different color sheep? See, they're taking a nap and they're eating. And, or they would go get some water. See, he's so thirsty. He's getting him fed. And then he would count the sheep to make sure But this isn't just a story, a fun story about sheep. This is a story about Jesus. Jesus said that he is the good shepherd. Those who follow him and believe that he is God's son were his sheep. Now, are we really sheep? No, we don't have fuzz on us. We don't have hoofs and we don't walk on all fours. But God takes care of us like how we took care of our sheep. We took our sheep to eat. We took our sheep to get some water. That's how God takes care of us. He makes sure that we have everything that we need. We know that he is our good father and our good shepherd by reading the Bible. And one of the verses in the Bible says, John 10, 27. My sheep listen to my voice and know them and they follow me. So we know who God's voice is. 
we know, oh, that's my mom's voice, that's my dad's voice, that's my aunt's voice, that's my uncle's voice, and that's the good shepherd's voice, that's God's voice. So let's read it one more time together. John 10, 27. My sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Jesus, the good shepherd, wants all of his people to be like his sheep. But in order for us to be his sheep, we must belong to him. We belong to the good shepherd when we trust Jesus as our savior. That means we each believe that Jesus is God's son who died on the cross for our sin and came back up to life. When you trust Jesus as your savior, then you belong to him just like the sheep belong to the shepherd. Jesus, the good shepherd, loves you very much. He knows your name and everything about you. He takes care of you just like the shepherd takes care of his sheep. Just like the sheep follow their shepherd, we can follow our good shepherd by listening to his words in the Bible and obeying him and making good choices. What are some good choices that we can make? Let's think together. Some of the good choices that we can make by obeying is by being nice to our brothers and sisters or being nice to our friends. Other good decisions we can make is by praying and asking God to help us. I really want to make good choices, and I hope that you'll make good choices with me too and ask God to be our shepherd. Let's pray and ask God to help us. Dear God, thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you for making sure that we're fed and we're taken care of and protecting us from all the scary things. In your name we pray, amen.